Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, how to configure the S3 access with a, with an instance profile. Okay. Uh, the step number one, uh, we are going to create the instance profile is in the AWS console. Okay. After that, um, we will enable the policy uh, to work with serverless resources also. Uh, and step number three, uh, we will create the bucket policy. Right. We will update the bucket policy to provide access to this IAM role to read the data from the S3 bucket. And then uh, we will try to identify the IAM role that is uh, uh, created uh, Databricks deployment and then we will add that S3 IAM role to the ECD policy. Uh, we will provide the IAM pass role on this uh, uh, S3 IAM role access. Okay. So th uh, these are the steps uh, very high level. Let me start. The step number one, I'm going to create the instance profile using the AWS console. Okay. Uh, already I am in the uh, AWS console. Let me create the role. Okay. So uh, while creating the role, I'm uh, select uh, have to select the tester entity type. So here the tester entity type is uh, EC2. Have to select the EC2. Um, okay. Now let me click on next. Okay. So then here uh, I will uh, click. Uh, uh, right now I will not select any permissions here. Let me click on next. Okay. So these are the. Uh, let me provide the I am role name. Databricks. Okay, so let me click on create IAM role. Okay, so okay, this Databricks IAM role is created successfully here. Okay, now. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the, I'm going to create the uh, inline policy. Okay. So in this inline policy, um, I will, uh, I will, I'm going to provide the access to the S3 bucket uh, to this IAM role to read the data from the S3. Right. So I will just follow this uh, syntax here. I will copy the syntax from that. So this is a JSON. Let me copy this JSON script. Um, go to the AWS console here. Let me replace this. Uh, existing one here yeah, right so in this uh, inland policy uh, what I'm going to do right I'm giving the uh, permissions on this S3 bucket uh, to put the object get the object delete the object right put the object ACL access control right uh, on this S3 bucket to the my this uh, IAM role okay so uh, when you configure this instance profile uh, onto your uh, into Databricks right so uh, while you are creating the cluster on the Databricks while you um, with using this uh, instance profile so then when you are querying the data from the S3 bucket, right, you need access. So this instance profile uh, playing a very uh, service role on the your EC2 machines, right, and the clusters to read the data from the S3 bucket. So I am had to create the one uh, inline policy. That inline policy should uh, have the access to the S3 bucket. That inline policy I am attaching to the IAM role now. Right. Uh, so here, uh, let me replace the my bucket name. Okay. So this is my bucket name here. Um, okay properties right uh, let me take this arn let me copy this arn let's copy this sample dot of one this is a my bucket name go to the here replace that bucket name with uh, here um, also okay uh, so this is done uh, let me click on next one uh, policy name uh, is topics topics uh, s3 access okay I am let me get this instance policy. Instance policy created successfully and attached this Databricks so IAM role. Okay. Now um, I have to uh, edit the S3 bucket uh, permissions to uh, provide the access to uh, to allow the request from this Databricks IAM role to uh, read the data. Right. So what I have to do? I have to go to this uh, bucket here. Let me click on this bucket. Go to the permissions. Okay, right now uh, I don't have any bucket policies. So I have to edit this bucket policy. Okay, I need to 
uh, put the bucket for uh, app uh, give the permissions on this role this uh, data mix IAM role to to get the data from this uh, s3 bucket so i will take this uh, sample template from this data bricks occur here so let me take this uh, copy this json file copy this json uh, go to the edit bucket policy paste here sorry okay now uh, what I have to, do, have to replace this ARN or uh, this existing ARN Databricks uh, role. I have to put the my Databricks IAM role here, right? So, what is the my Databricks IAM role? Uh, just now I created, right? This is a my Databricks IAM role. Let me copy this ARN here. Go to this uh, S3 bucket policy. Edit the bucket policy and replace here, right? So now we have to use the bucket name. Okay, my bucket name is. Uh, let me copy from here. POC sample data one. Okay, copy this I am role again. Replace it in this here. Copy this I am role. Okay, now it's clear so uh, what you are trying to do here right in this uh, resource i am role right you are giving the permissions so uh, get bucket location list bucket bucket on this resource this pure sample data one same thing here also uh, this is for only bucket level and you are giving the access at the uh, like a uh, remaining folders within that bucket here put object get object delete object put object acl right here so so now let me click on save changes okay this bucket policy is updated successfully okay and if you i missed the one step here so um, this step related to the enable your policy to work with serverless resource also okay you want to create the serverless uh, uh, clusters right serverless uh, resources in the data bricks so you need to add this uh, permissions you need to add this permissions into the im role let me copy this one. Let me copy this one. Go to the Dr. Briggs IAM role. Okay. So uh, when you are creating the IAM role, right, default instance profile ARN also created here. This is my instance profile ARN by my Dr. Briggs. Yeah. So what are they what are they saying? When you exit following Okay, how to go to the trust policy how to replace this one okay here i have to use the my workspace id how to replace only workspace id and how to keep the same air and year okay so if you read the documentation right um, do not edit the principle of the policy the principle dot aws field must be containing have the value of this ARN okay the, this reference to a serverless compute role managed by databricks this is entirely managed by the databricks okay so we have to keep this uh, ARN so let me copy this same script go to the um, my am role uh, go to the database am role and go to the trust relationship edit this trust relationship and uh, let me copy paste here and then i have to take my workspace id right go to the here and go to the databricks uh, already i log into databricks okay this is my workspace id okay let me replace here okay then let me update the policy okay the trusted policy updated successfully okay now uh, with this uh, instance profile you can create the serverless resource also into databricks okay so the next step is uh, we update the bucket policy is done uh, and step number four we need to identify the im role that created the databricks deployment right so in my case um, this is the im role or databricks workspace stack role uh, this is a uh, uh, im role uh, used to deploy the entire workspace in the databricks okay 
so now after that once you identify that i am role right uh, what do you do you need to add this uh, databricks i am role to the ect policy space uh, uh, created i am role here okay and uh, i did this policy right let me scroll down so uh, yeah right uh, just uh, put the comma at end and copy paste this one right and you have to uh, replace this resource ARN the resource ARN should be uh, this databix uh, s3 access role okay databix s3 access role uh, copy this uh, ARN go to edit policy and uh, replace this uh, ARN here right okay this is the error is resolved now let me scroll down click on next uh, save the changes changes are done right now uh, the next step is uh, okay next step is we need to uh, go to the data bricks and we need to click on the security tab and we need to we need to add the instance profile right let me go to the data bricks here click on here and go to the admin settings okay click on the security right or click on this manage instance profiles right now add the instance profile okay you need to copy the instance profile ARN from the AWS console okay now okay let me copy this instance profile ARN from my AWS console paste into this location so automatically the IAM role ARN is uh, uh, populated and you have to uh, ignore this one it means so uh, you have to do the validation and you have to also do the met instance profile let me click on add button so it is trying to communicate to your aws console Okay, see, uh, my instance profile is created successfully. Uh, then I will give the access to my database training user also. Let me click on add. Okay, I provided access. Let me confirm and click on confirm. Okay, it is done. So now uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the one cluster. Click on the compute. Uh, let me click on the create the cluster. Okay. Uh, policy is the personal compute okay and uh, the runtime i'm going to use the standard uh 14.2 scala spark 3.5 version here and uh, this is the mac minimum configuration i will choose 30.5 gb members okay. now um, so i will terminate this cluster uh, after 10 minutes of idle time okay so now let me select the instance profile which i am created right which i attached here right okay i created i, I selected the database uh, i am profile which i added here right now click on the uh, if you go to the advanced options uh, i think uh, can create compute okay the cluster started creating now You see cluster is created successfully now uh, so we'll uh, create the new notebook uh, let me go here okay this is a new notebook okay my cluster is selected here okay now i will okay this is already meant select start from csv dot uh, my look uh, this is the uh, my s3 location where i kept that uh, uh, employee data here right so i'm successfully as um, query the data right these are the fields name gender salary department and these are the data 16 records are available here right so the, the connection is working from uh, from the uh, data bricks to the s3 now okay let me add the new cell here add cell below okay let me copy this uh, create table statement 
okay let me create table create a table create or replace the table then let me run this query Okay, this table is created successfully. So I extracted successfully data from this table. Select star. I executed the. I successfully run the select star from the uh, this table. Okay, that's it for today. So uh, what we did, we successfully configured the instance profile in the uh, in the AWS console, and we configured that into the Databricks to uh, provide the to get the configure the S3 access in the Databricks.